My name is Shania Manha Alam, a grade 5 student of Glenridge International School, Shatarku, Dhaka, Bangladesh. First of all, let me bombard you some questions. Did you know that an average person spends around 3 hours per day on their phone, which adds up to 45 full days a year? Did you know that an average person walks 7,500 steps a day? That adds up to 170,000 kilometers in a lifetime, almost four times around the Earth. Did you know if you read for just 20 minutes, you will finish up to 12 books a year? Well, yes, I know these facts are mind-boggling. But how do you conclude to this data? The answer is to math. So how many of you think math is making your life difficult? And you absolutely despise practicing maths. I know most of my friends fear it. Surprisingly, so does my parents. But math is hiding everywhere in our daily lives. And most of the time, we don't even notice we're using it. Come, let's see if we share a similar experience with math. One fine day, my friend Sarah and I wondered how much time we'd spend on Roblox. I checked my phone, two hours for me and Sarah had 90 minutes. I added it up in my head, that's three hours and 30 minutes altogether. Then I compared it with the five hour limit our parents gave us for the weekend. Funny thing is, I didn't even realize it but I was doing math, just adding, converting minutes, and checking numbers while talking to Sarah. Later, when I told Sarah, bro, we just did math, we both started to put in more thoughts in the role of mathematics in our day-to-day -day life. Another weekend, my grandmother wanted me to help her bake a cake for my mom's birthday. The recipe said two cups of flour, but we wanted to make double. That means two became four, one cup of sugar became two. I was basically multiplying, but instead of numbers on a boring worksheet, it was a yummy cake batter. Math turned into something delicious. Similarly, my friend Aisha always said, I hate math, it's too scary. But when we were playing games together, I told her math is just like counting your game coins. I showed her how adding coins, dividing them for upgrades, and even checking playtime were all little math tricks she already used. Aisha laughed and said, wait, so I actually do math every day? From then on, she stopped being afraid because math felt like more fun than fear. You won't believe how I convinced my mom to spend more time with me at home, all with a little help from math. I was feeling very sad because my mom was always busy with work and we were missing our fun times together. So one day I asked her, Mom, if you work eight hours a day, five days a week, how much time do you spend away from me in a year? She grabbed her phone, calculated and exclaimed, 2,000 hours in a year? Then I asked her, how much time do you spend with me? She didn't answer. But from the next month, she started working from home. That day, my happiness reached the sky. Now, it is trivia time. I'm going to tell you guys some interesting math facts. A triangle is the only shape that is always stable. That's why bridges and towers often use triangle frames. The Pyramid of Giza was the tallest structure in the world for 3,800 years. And its dimensions followed a mathematical ratio close to pi. Honeybees build hexagon-shaped honeycombs because hexagons hold the most honey, using the least wax. Do you know about the Fibonacci in flowers and plants? Many flowers, pine cones, and pineapples follow the Fibonacci sequence. The number of spirals or petals often match the Fibonacci numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. This helps plants pack seeds efficiently and grow in balanced beautiful patterns. And let's not forget about our phones, tablets, and video games. When I play football games on my tablet, I'm using angles to kick the ball. When we send text, math is working in the background to codes and algorithms. Without math, there would be no YouTube, no Minecraft. Math is not just about solving equations. It's about solving life's puzzles. 
If any of you have arithmophobia, remember, it is only a mental block. As soon as you start relating math to everyday life, you'll see how much of math you do all the time. Every step we take, every move we make, math is right there with us. Thank you.